the mountain seems empty now as the young cat joins his sister at their rocky den. His mother sniffs the silent air. It's time she knows to move down, to lead her youngsters back to the low valley where they were born, a valley where she will find abundant game. A sudden sound alerts the young male. A grizzly bear, ready for his first winter's sleep, nears the den unaware of the cougars. As the bear draws closer, the mother cougar tenses. He's too close. With her family's safety challenge, she attacks. The bear's retreat surprises the young cub. Once more, stillness settles over the mountain. She senses that winter's fury is on its way. Now the peaks must be abandoned to the ice and snow. Soon even the grizzly will be driven to his den. Now the instinct to return to the lower valley must be answered. Who know where to hide. Since there are few natural enemies with which the bear has to contend, he is not quite so alert as he should be. The angry female cougar considers this bear to be a threat to her young, and she will not tolerate that. Her snarls have finally alerted him, but the gravel bar offers no place to hide, and the cougar is already too close for him to attempt to outrun her. The cougar, mindful of the safety of her cubs, will not tolerate the bear remaining here. Cubs have been doing their best to keep up. What they have seen and are learning today is a lesson of basic survival. The value of using a powerful offense to establish dominance in one's territory. The large cougar has been triumphant and she knows that this black bear will be very wary about invading this territory in the future. The cubs are exhilarated at what has occurred, and this lesson they've learned will stick with them all their lives. It has taught them more than merely how to drive off a bear. It is a procedure that they will use in the future against other potential enemies or competitors. It has been a very successful outing, and they'll move out farther onto the desert floor, where the cubs' training will continue. 
after chasing the nervous deer away. Now they've spotted a dangerous prey, the black bear. With the confidence of youth, they approach, expecting all animals to retreat from their attack. Finally, the yearling sees them. The bear could easily kill the cubs. This time, the yearling fights with the fury of an animal protecting its young. The squeals of the playful cubs alarm the yearling. A quick look assures him all is well. Once again, the squealing cubs distract their defender. stay in the treetop. The cubs are safe once more. The kitten's relationship with their mother is wearing thin. Feeding two ravenous kittens requires a lot of fresh meat. She has to spend more and more of her time hunting in order to keep her family fed. The days under her care are coming to an end. The demands will soon exceed her ability to provide them. For a moment, things look calm. Everyone gets his fill. Until a new threat rounds the corner. A 500-pound grizzly bear has caught scent of her kill. The cubs quickly understand they should leave the scene. Bears are notorious scavengers. They find it a lot easier to take advantage of another animal's hard work rather than do it themselves. Knocking a lion off its kill is easy work by comparison. Violent encounters are rare. And however reluctantly, the lion will usually give up the carcass to the bear. But this time, the mother holds her ground. Grizzly is perplexed by the mother's reticence to give in. Her kill was hard won and her kittens are hungry. She refuses to give up the deer even though if push comes to shove, she will lose. The bear marks the carcass with his scent. Gouts of saliva assert his claim and the female still refuses to yield.
Uneasy with the lion's aggressiveness, the bear finally saunters off in search of easier pickings. The cats feed on the pure protein of the liver, heart, and lungs, which supply concentrated vitamins and nutrients. Then they turn to the protein-rich meat. But first, they have to yank out the coarse hair. Even though there's more than enough meat to go around, the kittens still find time to squabble over social protocol. What the lions don't finish, they'll cache and return to later. But the smell of freshly killed game travels far. The wolves in the valley have gotten wind of the carcass. The pack is no match for a lion. Inevitably, the cats cross paths with an ancient adversary. It's a young bear, no older than the puma cubs, and it has trespassed in their domain. While success in a single skirmish does not make a master hunter, the cubs have proven themselves in one of nature's difficult trials. A new generation has come. It's time for the showdown. 